How many times did Jesus cleanse the temple? In his gospel, John told of Jesus cleansing the temple at the beginning of his ministry, just days after his first miracle at Cana in Galilee. Conversely, Matthew, Mark, and Luke place the temple cleansing near the end of Jesus' ministry, about the, the time of his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. As the infamous Dr. Bart Ehrman, a New Testament professor who thrives on publicizing alleged contradictions, contends, Jesus either cleansed the temple twice, or neither John nor the synoptics tell the true story, since in both accounts, he cleanses the temple only once. Thus, according to Ehrman, the accounts are not reconcilable. Is he right? Or is just this another famous example of a professor gone wild? First, we should note that contra Ehrman, none of the gospel writers so much as hints at the notion that Jesus cleansed the temple only once. Therefore, it is entirely plausible to reconcile the gospel accounts by presuming that Jesus cleansed the temple both at the beginning and at the end of his public ministry. Furthermore, there's no reason to suppose that Jesus cleansed the temple only twice. One need recall that the disciples remembered right after Jesus drove out the money changers the first time that zeal for his house will consume him. Defiling the place in which the Shekinah glory of God dwelt is no trifling matter. Moreover, as should be evident, not every action Jesus took was recorded. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written, said St. John. Finally, we should note the pattern of the Gospel writers. Inevitably, they present complementary details that serve to flesh out the rest of the story. Far from contradictory, they are quite obviously complementary. If every gospel writer presented his account in precisely the same fashion, the critics could then correctly cry, Collusion! The very fact that a number of plausible resolutions can be forwarded negates the assertion that the accounts are not reconcilable. Seeking to debunk the Bible has become a very profitable cottage industry. But what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul?